Ninevites worship idols. They do not know the true God. They are enemies of Israel. They will not listen. I'll not go to Nineveh. I shall go to Joppa on the Great Sea and take a ship in the opposite direction. And maybe I can get far enough away from God that he will not remind me to go preach to the wicked Ninevites. Uh, who is the captain of this ship? I am. I would like to pay passage to Tarshish. You people of Nineveh! sent by the Lord God to warn you. Nineveh will be destroyed for your wickedness. I've seen Putty with more backbone. Hey! Mercer, you know the layout. How do we get in? In this stinking swamp, even big bad cobras need air conditioning. That's our ticket in. Men can go in. The cowards can stay out here. I see you have reacquainted yourselves with the sword. It is a great honor to fight for you, Master Eusis. No, you fight for yourselves here. It appears that we are further along than I thought. Munio has taught you both very well. Thank you. That means a great deal to me. But we still have much training to do if we're going to get this school back in the high tournaments. Ah, yeah. Before I forget. What is this? A memento of your father's. I was waiting for an appropriate time to give it to you. Wear it with pride, son. It was a symbol of Munio's dedication to the sport. He felt the games were an outlet for mankind's violence and rage, which kept them from waging war. Carry on that tradition. But it's broken. What happened? I'm afraid it was damage during the attack that took his life. He would be proud to see you wearing it, Valens. Enough of the past. Let's look to our future. We have much to do. You know better than to keep me waiting. Give me what you owe us so I can be on my way. Well, is there a problem? No, right this way. The deal's off. The Avatar. Aang, don't get involved. If I don't get what I came for, the Fire Nation will burn this place to rubble. Get out of here! <clears throat> You're leaving empty-handed. Then the destruction of this temple will be on your head. Greeting. Hello to you, prospective purchaser. I am referred to as HK-47, a fully functional Sizetec Corporation droid skilled in both combat and protocol functions. Query, would you be so kind as to purchase this model from Yukalaka? It would serve my purposes to be removed from his ownership. Answer. With the restraining bolt in place, I do not have access to my memory core. I suspect, however, by the fine quality of my manufacture, that they are a prestigious company indeed. I suspect I am of unique construction, or perhaps I was intended for a very specific customer. How I ended up here, I can hardly say. It is sufficient to say that I am a fully capable translator and cultural analyst, and I am also proficient in personal combat. Explanation. I have been recently fitted with a restraining bolt, if you must know. With it in place, access to much of my memory core is restricted. Not to mention that the fool Ithorian might raise his asking price if he knew more, or make inquiries into my history. Neither outcome is beneficial to me. Command. You will talk. Defiant statement. There is nothing you can do to me. Do your worst. My photoreceptors! My photoreceptors! Statement. 
I shall up the charge of your circuits next time. Now, answer the question. Posturing statement. I will never talk. Statement. Then I will have to settle for your screams. That is... <laughs> prisoner has revealed something of interest. Allow me to share it with you. Statement. The facility that is creating these cruder, unsophisticated versions of me is located on Telos. I propose we go there and turn it into a smoldering crater. A thousand Jedi died cursing Darth Desilus. Now you too will scream my name. Before me, or die. I hear that you've acquired an important Imperial Senator. <laughs> yes, I got the Senator, but Boss Chapa has him now. Not so funny. He's a prepared. You, sir, gonna die. Thank you, my friend. I come on behalf of... General Coda, I know. And I know about your plans for rebellion. Are you with us? I've spoken out against the Emperor too many times. He's issued death warrants against me and my family. Of course I'm with you. We'll need to meet with Bale and the others to discuss our next move. Tell Coda. I'll contact him soon. Assessment. You have been exceedingly sporting during our hunt. I am HK-47, the Master's most faithful ally. Once a mere assassin droid, it is now my burden and joy to command the Foundry's mechanical armies. I didn't think Jedi believed in assassination, or built droids to do their dirty work. Commentary. I am often pleasantly surprised by my master's moral compass. The extermination droids are my master's crowning achievement. They are equipped with bioscanners capable of detecting Sith genetic material. Any organics with Sith ancestry will be slaughtered. This includes 97.8% of the Imperial population. This was never about winning the war. You're talking about genocide. Emphasis. 97.8% efficient genocide. Commentary. As much as I'm looking forward to butchering our enemies planet by planet, I have missed the personal touch. Your bones will make excellent trophies to commemorate my return to assassination. Fresh from Rome, yes? Terrible thing, terrorists. But if you keep them from blowing up the target, then it is good. I take it no one was hurt. Not exactly. 
I feel honored. Your first time in Moscow and I am your first stop. What brings Michael Thornton, world traveler, to this humble bar? Do we have to jump right to business? I could really use a drink first. Then you are lucky you've come to a bar. I am short on cash, so you will have to make your own way. That go for events going on in Moscow, too? And here I thought we were not going to jump right to business. <coughs> <coughs> A cough like that, this bar may not be the best place to hang out. Secondhand smoking. <coughs> I quit three times this month. Secondhand smoke is my way of getting by. Well, I didn't mean to interrupt your coughing or your drinking, but I wanted to know who Halbeck's friends are here in Moscow. What specifically do you wish to know? If they have friends at all? For the love of Dunwall, help! How did you get to me? No, it's impossible. I'm a hallucination. My eyes see what they fear. Why do you hide your face? Are you some phantom behind that mask? Some terrible spirit here to punish me for my lack of perfection? What do you intend to do? I must know. Are you even capable of mercy? Remember me as the one who avenged her death. 